What is up, you guys? And welcome to part two of our land and sea adventure. Yes. Now it's time for the land. If you've been following along, you've finished up the sea adventure. Here's day one of our land adventure. We're checking in to Disney's Beach Club Resort. We're excited. We're going to be here for three nights. So, let's go. Okay, time to check in. We are staying in a water view, so we are not going to have one of these little rooms out front. You see these little tiny balconies right there above the roof. I forgot that we got water view. It would be a really big letdown because these this is a deluxe resort, so you're paying a premium. So I do not want that up there for a view. Entering Disney's Beach Club. Hi guys, how are you? How you doing? Here we are. Check in. Hopefully our room's ready. We are all checked in. We got my birthday button. And our room's ready. We're on the third floor. We have a view. Watch your view. Let's go check it out. Check the car for the luggage. Boom. I don't know what kind of ruggage, l ruggage, luggage you guys got, but we like to stay in our bubble. Hello, this is mine. Still got our cruise line tags on there. Soft brag. Okay. And that's how we roll. We are off to the elevators. We can find them real quick. You should definitely invest in some decent luggage. It's so easy to just, just shove along. On our way up. Third floor, please. Oh, Goofy. Whoa. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> we are in, we have to go that way. We're in 3507. We found our room, so that's us right there. And then we are literally in a corner. Like there's no nowhere else to go unless you're staying back here. So we're not gonna have any traffic going by us, so that's nice. Now for the room door. Ta-da! Hello. Hey. So right when you walk in, you have your little coffee area. And I wish they would have Keurigs in the room. Not gonna use that or any of that stuff. Get two glasses, ice bucket, and the fridge is down here too. I kind of feel like this room is bigger than the Polynesian room that we stayed in. It might be. It feels like it. There's our luggage. Closet. I don't know if you want to slide it. There's stuff that we don't really need. Never really use the closets. I think there's a safe in here. No, there's no safe. Ironing board and crap, whatever. Turn around, nice clean bathroom. Big mirror, there's a little vanity mirror for you. I really like the shower thing. His and her sinks and deluxe resorts, you get all kinds of little little goodies. Mouthwash, nice. Shower cap. Ooh, we need this. Cooling aloe gel. Yes, we really do. For our sunburn, I'm about to put this in the fridge. You got burnt on the cruise. Here's the shower area. Look at this, that is nice. Tubs clean. We get our own body wash, conditioner, and shampoo. Towels, toilet. It's sprinkling again. Nice color. It's very neutral in here. Coming out, you have a little area over here to sit or put your luggage. A huge TV. Huge, massive TV. Everybody gets to see the TV. Drawers, cabinets. Coming in on your first day, we get one of these. Little Mickey Snow White. Very nice. This is a duplicated um, letter from the general manager. Everybody gets one of those in their rooms. Oh, this is interesting. Seashell painting. Oh, and a hidden table. You could like eat, probably. Yeah, really though. It's probably what they roll out when you get room service. Probably. 
So you come over here oh. at your little workstation. This I like is, that lamp. It's really cute. I like the lamp. And then this is nice. You have two USBs right here and two outlets. Everybody needs plugs. The couch area. A nice couch. I think that pulls out into a bed. Or no, it flips over into a bed. You just flip this top. Okay, we're not going to do that right now. Some more shells. Very nautical. So we went from the actual ocean to an ocean resort. And then we have a water view. So out on our... The balcony's a little small. I could, you could, okay. We'll manage. It's all about the view. Which we got a nice one. <laughs> so over here, you have boardwalk. You can see the swan and dolphin behind that. Keep panning over. And you'll see that's the yacht club side and we are in the beach club side. It's a nice little beach down there. And then check this out. I'm really excited about this. This right here is the International Gateway entrance to Epcot. So Epcot is literally, literally. You're literally right by it. Literally. Literally. So if you didn't know, there's a back way into Epcot, which is right here. You just follow this path and then right past that tree is a gate and you can go into the World Showcase side of Epcot and you pop out over there by France. That's the Eiffel Tower. So we're gonna have some really good views at all times of the day. And if I step back here, we will definitely be able to see Epcot's fireworks. Definitely. Welcome to the Beach Club. So here is a Yacht and Beach Club private dining um, room service menu. And we are quite used to room service after getting off the cruise, but you can get breakfast. Except here you have to pay for it. Yeah, the <laughs> cruise you get, your room service is actually included in your cruise price. Here is all a la carte. You gotta buy it. But I mean, what is that? That's interesting. Breakfast platter. Babe, listen to this. Scrambled eggs, roasted potatoes, goldfish, honey wheat toast. That's interesting. Hmm. And they got all this stuff. Mickey waffles. Do, 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 do. Appetizers, appetizers. So you can get a steak if you wanted to. Desserts. Oh, they'll bring you a drink. One Long Island, please. Thank you. But yeah. Okay, so if you're into electronics, if you're into photography, vlogging, or just doing some work on your computer, there's two USBs here, okay? Which I already said. Come around to the middle. There's two USBs here. Two outlets. There's outlets with all the USBs. And then come over here. There's two USBs here. <laughs> there's two outlets. And there's two USBs here. You have plenty of plugs, people. So we just exited through the lobby and we're going to continue our day walking to Epcot. Should take about 10 minutes. That's nice. This whole resort's nice. All resort's quiet so far. And the sun's out. So that's our room right there. That's the balcony. Yeah. Right there. And here yeah. is the yeah, that's, that's okay. practic yeah, practically that entrance okay. to Epcot. Yeah, it even has a sign right there. Actually, the International Gateway at Epcot. if we go this way, we don't have to walk over the hill. So the Flower and Garden Festival starts tomorrow. So here's a little preview. We're getting all the topiaries up. And we <laughs> popped into the UK as soon as we crossed the bridge. So we're going to get a drink. It's a big Pooh Bear. Topiary. Rabbit. Going into Rosen Crown. Let's see how busy it is. Oh, not that bad. Very fishy. Extra fishy. Something's fishy about this place. Dad jokes. Yeah, it's got a bit of a rough edge on the uh, 
We got our favorite drinks from probably our favorite bar at Epcot. Yes. Um, when we pass people, they always ask what they are and where we got them, so you can get them at the Rosen Crown Pub, and we will tell you about them. Mine is Jameson-based, has peach schnapps and Midori, and I think a little bit of orange juice. And Babe's is um, rum, rum based Blue with peach schnapps, <laughs> Midori, and the orange fruity. juice. They're both kind of fruity, but they both have alcohol, and yeah. they're delicious, and they look cool. Yeah. Did you tell them the name? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy these. <laughs> so we just walked into the quick service place in Japan that we've never been in, and it looks pretty good. We're gonna try the chicken teriyaki. So we'll see how good it is, but there's your pricing. It was literally $10, 10 dollars 10 65 extra tax. Well, we just got one to yeah, just we're just split. Putting we're just trying it. We're going to eat and some here it is. Thank you. Thank you. So the quick service place in Japan is called Katsura Grill. Never even knew it was there. If you go to the right of the Japan Pavilion, there's like this little garden that leads up to it. We never really walked through there either. So that was fine. We took a couple yeah, pictures. I mean, the food was decent. Um, definitely wasn't like no five-star meal or anything like that, but it's quick service. Just any like kind of fast food, kind of Chinese kind of place. It was way better than a uh, Panda Express. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you that. We got yeah. the chicken teriyaki though, and came could, with white rice. It could have had a little bit more sauce on it, but I mean, I, I didn't. I didn't take a bite, and I was like, ill. So. Ooh, funnel cake line. Funnel cakes. We're back in the rosy ground. I can never find anything around here. It's our favorite place anyway. Yeah. Okay, I'm changing it up this time. I got a black and tan, two beers layered, you can kind of see it. I got my huge. Welsh Dragon. <laughs> Just got asked about it again, people. Welsh Dragon. By four local girls are like, ooh, what is that? Welsh Dragon. <laughs> Welsh. I think it catches everyone's eye because of the bright color. And it's pretty, it has a cherry and an orange in there too. Welsh Dragon. So the temperature outside is dropping. So we aborted outside, I think, yeah. for the night. Really until we're going to watch the fireworks from the balcony later. But we're trying to look for a drink inside without... 50, 58 degrees. It's 58 degrees. And the wind makes it a lot cooler. Yes. So we're trying to stay indoors. That's the point. So I guess we're going to go check out Martha's Vineyard. Martha. Martha. It's... Martha Stewart's <laughs> bar, I guess. <laughs> they have food too, like, in case we get hungry, but they got a bunch of cocktails. It's kind of a frou frou kind of place. It's yeah. very. They actually have um, one of the drinks that I drink there that's, that I actually got earlier in this video um, at Hollywood Studios um, the Magicals, what is it? Magical Magi Star. Magical Star, yes. except yeah. earlier you got a Maui Wowie. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, normally it's I usually... It's basically the same thing. Usually every time I go there, I always get the Magical Star for whatever reason. This time I did get the Maui Wowie. I forgot about that. The Maui Wowie has melon liqueur and the Magical Star doesn't. It's pretty I much the only difference. I think the Magical Star tastes a little bit more sweeter. So. Well, you can find out. It's kind of stuffy in there, so worst comes to worst, we'll take our drink and walk. And we're always <laughs> We're always able to find something. No, I mean, we have the... Boardwalks close. We're connected to Yacht and Beach, so there's, there's options. We'll find something. Join us, won't you? Babe got a rum swizzle. It's very tropical. Um, guy gave us some, some bar, bar mix, bar mix chow. And I got a highlight, 16 ounce. Nice. All right, let me show you guys Martha's Vineyard Lounge. It's pretty cool, honestly. It's more of an adult area. It's very quiet. It's nice though. The tables if you want to sit down and eat. Movies playing, nice little lounge area over there. We are over right here watching Toy Story. Here's Babe. And here's my seat. So yeah, we got TVs all over the place. It's nice. I showed. I showed them. <laughs> oh, and our beverages that you already saw. I just put in our orders. And we're good. They have food here. So we're going to get a... Uh, you got coconut shrimp? Yes. Hopefully it's more than like six. Yeah, hopefully. It's 14 bucks. Yeah, 
the snacks at the room. We brought like candy and we had um, chips and then um, out on the cruise they left us this like little thing of popcorn and um, Rice Krispie, Rice Krispie and little Mickey heads. So we had those too. We just brought it all here. So we have snacks in the room so we're good. And worst comes to worst we can get room service because we're on vacation. <laughs> Coconut shrimp just arrived. It looks really good. Um, this was 14 bucks. Hmm. You get five. Oh well. Loaded tots. So you got tater tots. Looks like some cheese sauce, green onions, sour cream, and bacon. Wow. So after our nice little little powwow at Martha's Vineyard, we took off to the store because it's generally cheaper to, cheaper to go to. There's a, a gas station on property called Speedway, and they have much cheaper products than what you can get in the lobby stores. And they have Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And I hot, got a hot chocolate, and so hot, I don't drink coffee. Hot chocolate, so. <laughs> and we got some water and some soda and stuff for the room. Got some beers and <laughs> bits and bops for the room. Yeah, we're gonna but. go back and chill at the room, take showers and relax, get into some comfy clothes before the fireworks go off at nine. And we'll get to watch them from our balcony. <laughs> If you've been following along this long in the vlog, thank you very much for watching. And if you keep watching, you will see a firework view room that is not categorized by that. Joey just, we just can see them from there. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's our new name for the room, firework room. Firework room. <laughs> Off we go. I really like this elevator. And that's why. I don't know if you heard it over me. It's poofy. <laughs> yeah, we got here kind of fast. It's a Disney friendship going by. Friendship. Get it? It's the boat. So if we wanted to, we could actually trot down to the lighthouse over there. That's the boat dock. That's where this boat's headed. And we could take a boat to Epcot. We could take a boat to Hollywood Studios. And I believe we could take a boat to downtown or Disney Springs. Not sure on, the, on Disney Springs, but we have boat travel if we wanted. Okay, so you can't see the fireworks from our room. You can see the Hollywood Studios fireworks a little bit, but you can't see illuminations. Not at all. That's all right. Still a good view. Um, so we are winding on down, We're actually watching the Tim Tracker vlogs. Shout out Tim Tracker. And Babe is getting nice and cozy, having some snacks. Pua is getting ready for bed get him all situated so that's gonna do it for day one here of part two of our Disney land and sea adventure um, where are we going tomorrow Magic Kingdom yeah we're going to Magic Kingdom tomorrow so we that'll be day fish and we have paddlefish reservations for dinner paddlefish is at Disney Springs good seafood stay tuned to see that um, go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching the video subscribe to see everything we do in the future and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, good night.